Hey, Matt. Yeah, what's up? Do you have a favorite manufacturing brand that you like to use at all? Uh, manufacturing for what? Shoes, clothes? No. Well, no, maybe for like, you know, uh, lawn equipment. Oh, lawn equipment. Um, no, nothing, nothing that comes to mind right now, no. Unless you're talking about the number one manufacturer in the world of lawn equipment, which is steel. Oh, I have a favorite, all right, baby. Yeah, steel for life, baby. Matt, when I'm garage selling or going to yard sales, one of the things that I rarely find is steel power equipment unless it's been damaged and it's smoking or the head's been blown out because they didn't put grease in it. But friends, I'm gonna give you a tip and a trick to show you how you can preserve your unit and how you can bring one back from the dead. I mean, I've seen them at garage sales and pfft, I'm telling you, just tore up. And you know one of the things that upsets me more than anything is a person buying the number one lawn product in the world, which is still, and then abusing it because they're stupid. Let me tell you three of the things that I do right away to see if that old weed eater that I got for five or $10 can be brought back from the dead. The first thing, thing I do while I'm at the yard sale is I grab the head and I spin it. Why? Why am I spinning the head? Because here's the thing, there is a grease fitting on there and yet it eludes 99% of the human population that owns steel power equipment. They never grease them, okay? And so what takes place is if you never grease it and you use it and use it and use it and abuse it eventually, you're gonna blow that out. Now, to replace this, it's more than I want to get involved with. Honestly, uh, why not just buy a brand new product or another product? Okay, so that's the first thing I do. If I spin this and there's nothing wrong there, I'm just like, oh, thank you, I'm on it. First thing I do, I was like, partner, how long have you had this unit? Has it been fairly good? Have you taken it to the steel dealership? I'm probing, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, do I really want something that's totally ragged out and a guy that's abused it? I don't, okay? What kind of uh, oil to gas ratio were, were you using the steel mix? Were, were you using the ultra? Is this what you were using? What, what were you, oh, were you, you're using the Walmart brand? Uh-huh, ask the guy, hey, what's wrong with it? And know what he's gonna say? Oh, it smokes like a mother. I mean, just smokes everywhere. It's, uh, it'll start but you know i gotta i gotta squirt like some fuel you know uh, okay so here's what 99 percent of the time is taking place with your steel power equipment y y listen are you ready let me tell you what normally is wrong with any steel equipment that's been abused here's what it is they've used old fuel crappy fuel ethanol fuel leftover fuel or they've used some generic brand of oil to mix it. Over time, over the seasons, over the winter, it's gunked up that piston and the valves. Friends, what I'm talking about is on that piston, it's round, I'll show you a picture. There's these grooves that go all the way around. The grooves on that piston are there so they can, when it goes up, it's lubricating. Those grooves are just big enough to bring the oil up and down that chamber. When those grooves are gunked up, with garbage gas. Listen, listen, crappy gas, old gas, ethanol, okay? It gums it up and it's like this brown. So you're gonna notice if you buy a used one and they haven't taken care of it, it's gonna, you're gonna take off the muffler, you're gonna look in there and what's it gonna be? It's gonna be dark brown. If you take a look at the valves, they're gonna be all crusty. But why is that? One reason, they abuse the unit. People, they leave gas in these units all winter long. What's that doing? Water, crap gas, over time ethanol gas breaks down and it just destroy. there's nothing that destroys engines more than ethanol gas. Because when you eat corn with your barbecue, do you realize that corn is likened unto a sugar? It breaks down, it's a carbohydrate. It's no different than this. It's just like putting sugar in your gas tank. How do you fix it? Guys, listen, listen, listen. This is the best part. 
all I do is I buy a can of this. I don't run this regularly because it's expensive. I normally get this and I put it with one gallon of 93 octane gas. I try to find a gas station that's not selling that ethanol garbage, okay? But when you have a unit that's been hurt or you want to winterize your unit for the next year, what you want to use is this. Why? Because this and this, okay, have special detergents that get rid of all the crud. That's why when you go to buy a new product from Still, one of the things you're going to notice is they're going to say, well, if you buy a can of this or you buy one of these, we're going to give you two extra years warranty. Friends, here's the thing. Can I just share this with you? I've never used the extra two years because I don't have to bring my units in. Still knows 99% of the problems are from the gas. They absolutely know that. They, they literally know that. And so they can tell whether you've used this because they say, hey, if you haven't used this and you've damaged it, it's on you. <laughs> can you believe that? So what I do when I come across a unit that's jacked up, okay, I'm just going to use this gas and I'm going to run a tank or two through it. And guess what? The detergents that are in this stuff will clean out. I'll show you some before and after pictures, but they will literally, two tanks of gas of you just in the yard mowing is gonna clean all of those cylinder heads. Yet some people are just downright cheap. Another thing I like to do, blow out the air filter, get a new air filter. What is it? Five, six, seven dollars. Okay, yes, the carburetor will adjust if your air filter's clogged, but why would anyone want to use a clogged air filter? Now, when winter comes, what am I doing? The same exact thing. I'm putting a tank of this through October, November. I'll just, even if I have to just let the thing idle, okay? I'm going to put at least a half a tank through, run it all the way out, and then guess what? Just put, wipe her down, use some simple green, tell her you love her, make sure she has a name, put her on the wall, lock her up, because if you don't lock up your steel equipment, someone's going to steal your steel That's equipment. What you need to do to winterize your product, okay? Just let it run and idle till it's totally empty. Make sure you use this, and while you're doing that, it's going to get all the from previous times. Now, when I buy a new unit, I just buy, I buy 93 octane and I use the Ultra. That's all you have to do. This has the same detergents, the same additives that's going to protect your units. And I don't care what kind of steel equipment you're talking about. Whether you're talking about a blower, an edger, a chainsaw, it works the same with all of them. I can't tell you how many chainsaws that I come across. I came across a chainsaw sometime back and the guy started it, but I started looking kind of through the plastic what had taken place they had ran garbage gas for so long and gunked up that piston that it actually cracked the head and then someone tried to kind of like weld it or something you want to stay away from that garbage you don't want to be anywhere near that okay run buddy run you gotta remember that steel equipment is made in germany it's also made in virginia beats virginia they take pride in their work it is literally almost impossible to destroy these engines. That's why I'm always very optimistic when I come across a garage sale or a yard sale or a friend that's moving, he wants to sell me his, okay? 99% of the time, just by doing what I told you to do, you can bring it back from the dead. You can change out the plug, you can change out the air filter, you can check that head to make sure those gears are still working, put a little grease in there, I'll put the link to that, and friends, you're good to go. These just don't break down. If you're losing compression, why? Okay, it's gunked up in the piston. All you have to do is run this through. Yes, it's gonna run like crap for a couple tanks, but then it's gonna be cleaned out and you're gonna be hitting it. I, I have neighbors that have had their uh, original tremors for 22 years and they're out there getting it on. I mean, it looks a little bit differently than the new stuff. Okay, and maybe not on the modern technology, but here's the thing, it cuts the grass. And you're like, it can't be that simple. It literally is that simple. $9 fix and you're good to go. The smaller cans are like nine bucks. Hey, I hope this helped you out. Remember, 99% of everything on a still, trimmer, a blower, an edger, it can be fixed just by running this once in a while through the tank, get rid of the crud. Hey, peace out.
the number one manufacturer in the world of lawn equipment. Steel the same. Steel.